Good morning and welcome to Glorious Word Empowerment. The question for the morning is, how often do you pray for your loved one? How often do you pray for your husband? How often do you pray for your wife? Do you see them and see a need in their life and you go into the presence of God and intervene on their behalf? Because as children of God, we ought to pray for our spouses. We ought to pray for our children. We ought to pray for our family. We are going to read the book of Genesis chapter 25, verse 21. It says, and Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife because his wife was childless. And the Lord answered, and Rebekah, his wife, became pregnant. Child of God, how often do you pray for your partner? How often do you pray for your children? They are in need of our prayers. For them to survive on day-to-day -day basis, we need to spend some time in a place of prayer and pray for them. This is a word of encouragement to you. Pray for your loved one. Pray for your children. Your prayers are there to intervene, to speak on their behalf. Your prayers are there to help. We see in this particular portion of the Bible that the Lord answered Isaac's prayer and Rebecca became pregnant. Child of God, pray for your spouse, pray for your children, pray for your family. It is very, very important. Father, I pray for your children. May they receive grace this morning to intercede for their family. Receive grace to intercede for your wife. Inter receive grace to intercede for your husband. Receive grace to intercede for your children. Receive grace to intercede for your parents, your siblings. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you the glory and the honor. You are faithful, you are Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, amen.